You know, I never even really noticed it until I came across a video on it, but my blue snowball records really, really quietly. So quiet that in my video editor, I have to turn up the audio file up to 200%, and then in the mixer, I have to turn it from zero decibels to plus six decibels. And even that's not quite loud enough. Any audio enthusiast knows that this is not a good idea on any level because the louder you make an audio file, the more noise, the more static, the more distortion you're going to introduce. And that's not good, no good at all. Now there are ways around the distortion. I never really cared too much. Um, I had a blue snowball and I know that an $80, $70 microphone, it's gonna have its limitations. Now the reason why I said I didn't even realize is because I actually saw a video, it was recommended to me, it was probably because of my other snowball video, um, why does my blue snowball so quiet and how to make it louder? And I, 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 was, I sat back and I thought to myself, I only have problems with audio where it being too quiet when it comes to recording and OBS. Um, I've, OBS has a bunch of different problems when it comes to my camera and my audio, but in, tip, typically I need to jack the levels up a lot. And I can't guarantee this will work with every microphone. This is specifically aimed for USB microphones, and I can't promise that's going to work with all USB microphones. However, I did go on the internet and I did find a way to fix this, so that's what I'm going to show you in this episode. Sorry for my lack of a pop filter, but what you want to do is you want to go down here, you want to go in your system settings, you want to go to devices. Now when you're in devices, this may vary depending on uh, what Windows version you have and what update you have. This I am on a Windows 10, but you eventually want to find your microphone. In this case, I have a blue snowball and that will be right here where it's, it's under audio says blue snowball now what you want to do and this is especially true if you have an older USB microphone um, what you want to do is you want to remove the device now obviously I'm not going to do it here because I'm recording with it but uh, what you want to do is you want to remove it and then what you want to do afterward is unplug your blue snowball from your computer you want to wait a second then you want to replug it in what this effectively does is it deletes the drivers for your snowball or your microphone I should say and when you replug it back in it reinstalls the drivers you may I found out that if you have an older microphone you have an older driver it doesn't work very well with your new microphone anymore so what you want to do is you want to restall the drivers and this worked for me hundred percent now my audio levels are actually a little too high they're peaking so I have to bring it down but this works hundred percent however if you're still having problems with your microphone maybe not your audio but your microphone for instance if you're having um, sorry I just smacked my mic again if you're having a lot of noise if it's just it's just a cheap altogether microphone and you want it to sound good then I'm going to make a video on that soon so stick around if you want to see See that for instance I have a blue snowball and when I first got it it, it just there's the microphone I really didn't care at the time but over the course of the last few months I learned a little more tips and tricks on how to record and how to process the uh, audio in post-production I'm stop smacking my mic I'm putting my hands behind my chair I learned basically what I'm trying to say is I learned a lot of tricks over the last few months and I'm going to show you all of what I've learned in one episode coming soon. So if you want to see that, then make sure you stick around. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. I hope I helped some of you with, um, with USB microphones. I hope so. If not, then um, text me on Discord and I'll tell you my address and you can come over to my house and slap me and I might give you a cookie or something. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next video.